Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, yesterday I totally forgot I was um, starting a series on uh, the Beatitudes. And so I'm so sorry about that. I know two days ago I said, yeah, I'm going to start a series and, and go through, uh, you know, this, uh, the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount. And then and all of a sudden week two, I totally go into something different, <laughs> or day two. Uh, so I'm sorry. It's been, it's been a whirlwind of, uh, of a month for us here. So uh, <clears throat> I do apologize, but you know what? Let's get back at it. So we're going to look at Matthew chapter five. And uh, we looked at verse number uh, two and three a couple days ago, and we looked at uh, how we said blessed are the poor in spirit and talked about that And you can look that up in, in the previous videos from two days ago We're gonna go on to the next verse now verse number four blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted Now before we get into this particular verse. I want to point out that this uh, sermon here the Beatitudes is a package deal Okay, so just because you're mourning doesn't mean that you're going to be comforted. Okay, the first step, uh, it goes together with verse number three, blessed are they, blessed are the poor in spirit, right? And we talked about that a couple days ago, how that's referring to salvation. You, it's your approach to God. If you are poor in spirit, you have to approach him in spirit because God is a spirit, right? <clears throat> and when you approach him, knowing that you're destitute, knowing that you are in need of forgiveness, of salvation, of redemption. You go to God in humility. Um, basically, it, you know, God promises you the kingdom of heaven, uh, that, that you, you go to God and he, he can forgive you. That's why he came and died on the cross. Uh, you know, he came so that he can make a way for us. And so you have to be saved first. The very first part uh, of, of this sermon that, that Jesus is preaching He's talking about getting saved. He's talking about salvation. He's talking about our soul. So you have to do that first. It's a, it's a package deal, okay? So if you approach God um, with pride, and instead of being poor in spirit, you, you think you've got it all together and you don't need God, and, you, and, and then all of a sudden you mourn because um, you know something bad happened at work or something, or, or a business deal failed, or I don't know, uh, or something even more serious, you know? Um, Maybe a loved one died or something. You're mourning. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be comforted. This verse, verse number four, it does not apply to every human being. It's not blessed are they, you know, everybody that mourns. Again, the whole sermon is a package deal. Verse three and then verse four. So with that being said, blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Jesus knows that, and especially as his children, uh, <clears throat> this life is going to be rough. Uh, first of all, it's already going to be hard because of sin, because of the curse of sin. We have to deal with death, uh, probably the, 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 the hardest thing we have to deal with. But we also have to deal with suffering. We have to deal with, with thorns and thistles and working hard and, and um, you know, uh, our, our body is deteriorating and getting old and uh, everything in this earth deteriorating and everything in second law of thermodynamics, right? Everything is in a constant state of entropy. Everything is constantly decaying and dying around us. This life is hard. It's, 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 it's difficult to live here on this planet, on this cursed world. And especially if you are a child of God, Jesus said, if you, you know, the, the world hates me and because they hate me, they're going to hate you. And so as a believer in Christ, it's, it's, even, it's even harder for us oftentimes. Uh, we get targeted a lot um, by the people of the world and, and the, the, the principalities of the world and, um, <clears throat> you know, because we are followers of God. And, and so Jesus knows that uh, we're going to be mourning a lot just, just, just by living here. It's, it's, it's a tough world. It's a tough life. And God says, listen, first, become my child. Become a child of God. Come to me, poor in spirit. Come to me in humility and, and let me give you the kingdom of heaven. Let me save you. And then when you become my child, when you become my follower and you mourn, I will comfort you. You remember the name that Jesus gave to the Holy Spirit? He said, when he goes to heaven, he's going to send us who? The Comforter, capital C. 
the Comforter, the, the, literally one of the names of the Holy Spirit of Christ is Comforter. That's, that's, that's his name, not just his job. And so obviously he's very good at doing that. And so I encourage you, when, when you go through a difficult time, when you go through a hard time, remember, Jesus loves you. And he sent his spirit, the comforter, to take care of you. And you will be comforted for those who mourn and turn to Christ. I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.